What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all from the middle West Jefferson, North Carolina. And today guys, I am standing outside of an antique store that is very large. Honestly, you might see this little bit right here. But in order to really get a full extent of how big this antique store is, it starts right there, Antiques on Main. And quite literally, it goes all the way down to where those white cars are. Now, this is one of my personal favorite places to stop while in West Jefferson, North Carolina. They have just so much stuff, and it's very unbelievable. Like, it's, it's like they have artifacts from everywhere, and it's in this little rural town in North Carolina. So anyway, guys, we're going to get in here. We're going to check out these things. Let's do it. But real quick before we get inside, check out the size of this giant chair. Now, I know they have several throughout the United States, several of these that you can easily walk up to. This one, I think it's honestly the biggest one I've, I've ever seen. I don't even think, quite literally, you could, the only way you could get in it is if you have a ladder. Like for example, me, this. Yeah, stands about, I stand about five foot nine, and yeah, I, I could not get on top of this thing. I'd have to have a ladder. It's very big. But anyway, guys, let's get in there. Introducing Antiques on Main. Over one million items. We're not going to see all one million because I don't have a memory card that could handle that. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen a saber-toothed skull that you can buy in an antique store. Very first time. I think that's all original, too. Looks like they've had some repairs to it, but um, it can be yours for $500. I wish I had $500. And underneath this, you guys, it looks like there is a water buffalo skull. Although, I do believe, as it says... It is not for sale so we're gonna have to just leave that be and while i may not be that much of a uh baseball card collector i mean i'm more of a pokemon and uh pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh guy they still have some really interesting cards that are in this case kind of wish i had one for my cards and here they also have some native american shards that this place literally has everything and i was just walking past this check out these milk crates or milk jugs 45 dollars i don't know i might have to get myself one of those looks like they have quite the collection of coins as well looks like they got some old school watches i have to get myself a hold of one of those i might have to stop back and get one or maybe later maybe i'll get one today more coins, some copper stuff, and uh, yeah, just looks like mostly just copper bullion. Check this out. They have like a, uh, a checkout thing right here, but I don't think it's in use right now. But I love the old Coke sign. And on the other side, check out these old school tools. That is big. Way back when. I mean, you had to do everything kind of sort of primitive. Looks like we've got ourselves some instruments right here in this room. We've got a banjo, guitar, smaller guitar. And as I was here, the clocks. Oh yeah, and they also have Bigfoot too. Dude, check out these old school bikes. Looks like these are some western flyers and they can be yours for $321. Not bad. Now one of the things that I really really like about this antique store is sometimes it just feels like you could just keep going and going and you probably still would not see everything. Like who would have thought you could have gotten some uh some old school um Old school reef. Part of a reef. Some starfish. 
right there and just check out that coffee table now the last time i was here i know that they had themselves a uh an old barrel from the 1700s but it sat right here it looks like somebody has long since sold it kind of looks like somebody has taken over this spot right here i know there used to be a uh, a mummy thing or um, an egyptian mummy thing that used to be in here but i don't think it's here anymore it looks like they have a thing where you can fit your gloves and that horse kind of reminds me of uh, that, that movie from the Brady Bunch. And here it looks like they have themselves a part of a part of a shotgun right here. Who would have thought? And that is an awesome knife. I wonder how much. Not a hundred bucks, but it's actually a pretty nice knife. And <laughs> that is a throwing axe. I haven't seen one of those in a really long day at time since. Since uh, after I was in the forestry club at the University of Tennessee, huh, I don't really know what these are all about. Huh, antiques and collectibles. Handmade Guatemala artists from St. Francis. Oh, oh, those are gorgeous. Dude, I like this. Check this out. Somebody has taken a light and made it out to be like a rocket ship. Although, I don't er, I don't have $185, but I just love that. That is just an interesting piece of folk art. Shoot for the stars, everyone. I haven't seen one of these in a while either. Big giant model boat. It looks like we have ourselves another skull. I how much that one is. $450. I think we're going to walk away from that one. So let's continue, shall we? Let's see what is down here. Huh. We got some old school silverware. Oh, what's up, Mom? What's up, Lily? Yes, I'm here with my family today, you guys. But they don't like being in the vlogs. And that is a cool violin. Or this old car horn. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those. We'll put that back. You guys, just check out this taxidermy bass right here. I just love, look at, look at his eyes. He's like going, oh no, ah. Oh. But also while we were at it, somebody has made sock kitties. I bet there's true blue Appalachian handiwork, I will say. And like I said, you guys, you never know what you're going to find here. That is a 1970s Mickey Mouse action figure. The Mickey Mouse fan club. And speaking of Mickey Mouse, check out this big, giant watch. I know I, last time I saw one of those, it was in a doctor's office. A lot of bad memories at the doctor's office, but I like the watch. Decided to check out these old school, school Coca-Cola bottles. I can't say I've ever heard of that one before. But I like the work in it. That's pretty neat. Just check out these old school tools. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now that is a big meat cleaver. That would put, uh, oh what was his name? It's not Jason or... Uh, the mask guy from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, he would scream when he, if he saw something like that. And it's got some weight too. Looks like we've got an old school uh, fire axe too. An axe with, uh, with this end on it. And <laughs> if, I don't know, if I wasn't looking, I'd, I don't know, I just feel that, that looks a lot like a, uh, a train spike that's been turned into a, a hammer. At least what what I feel anyway. I'll put that on there. Oh, pardon me. There we go. Now, I know that's not a competition saw, but that's still pretty nice too. That's what they used during the logging days in this area. Now I think this one right here is more of a yeah, that's more of a competition grade uh, 
saw blade. You can see those at Timber Sports competitions. But now I absolutely love this. Here is an antique projector from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Nowadays, I think it's more of a display piece than anything. It'd be cool if it still worked, but I think it's, like I said, it's just kind of there for show now. Anybody want to play chicken? <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Just check this out. Look at this old school. Uh, you don't see those anymore. And you got one right beneath it. I know my memo had one. Actually, they still got it. But uh, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Just check this out. That is so cool. Check that out. That is an old school uh, radio thing. Radio horn. I think it's radio horn. Looks like here in the corner they have some more old school Indian artifacts. Now that can be yours for $22.50. Create your own museum at this place. And this is cool. They have an old school military bag. Blair H. Dyrich. Huh. That's a really cool old school horn right there. And I have not seen one of these since uh, my grandfather had one. Actually, maybe one day I ought to just buy that old snow sled and see what fun I can have with it. Now this I would just buy for the heck of it, but it's an old school candy machine. That has to be at least from the early 1900s, because just check out that really cool old school metal base. Like, that's <laughs> so neat. And now this is amazing. They have some of these old, or some of these desks they have made out of wood like this one right here. That is absolutely gorgeous. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is red cedar. I'd like to have that just to put in my room. Got something something of a desk or a stool. This will take you all the way back into the past. But speaking of the past, there is a metal Coke sign. That's so epic. Speaking of epicness, check out this old school train lantern. Wonder how much this is. Yeah, well, that's only twenty-seven dollars. That's not too bad. And now this makes my inner train nut come out. These are old school train lanterns. Well, more specifically, this one is um, an old school uh, mine lantern, mine light. My or like miners would put it on the top of their hats or carry them. And I would like to have this one, but already checked the price on it that's about $325 right there I, I don't have the money for that one I wish I did though but by itself that is a really cool collection now I don't really see much of anything that I like in this booth but I love its display and it's got a lot of really interesting stuff in it and speaking of that you can never go wrong with Bigfoot never huh I got a spinning wheel. Again, I haven't seen one of those, so, well, since my grandfather got rid of it when my grandmother passed away. Walking sticks, walking canes. Old school weight. That tells me I'm fat if I go any further. Yeah. Some old, oh my goodness, this is cool. This is solid iron. It's Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man, toot toot. Just check out these old school knives too, especially these skeleton keys. <laughs> I'd just buy that just to have some fun. What else do they have here? Looks like they've got some rings, kind of like a jeweler. And uh, oh, this is awesome! <laughs> oh wow, look, they have. <laughs> oh my goodness, my Pokemon nerds coming out. You have a. Um, a Gengar covered at, or carved out of uh, purple mica or Greninja, Obsidian, Slowbro, Obsidian, and they even have a Tiger's Eye Eevee. <laughs> that's so epic. Let's check that out. Some Star Wars stuff that's made out of uh, various knickknacks and uh, old uh, automotive parts. Now I figured as much if they had fossils over there and rocks and Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that they would have had more. It looks like they do. It's like they've got some fossilized fish, a meteorite for $100.
Actually, I might legitimately buy that. Got some almond eye, dinosaur teeth, and my absolute favorite, Megalodon. Also, looks like they've got a Spinosaurus tooth. Hey guys, I think we might be coming to the end. Oh wait, nope, nope, there's still a bunch of stuff here. But quite literally, you never see those stop signs anymore. By the way, that's how big they are. I won't say I see them anymore. Like, any more like this. Now, of course, you'll see these like at a stoplight any day of the week. Now, I really like this. Check this out. This is a Jeep made out of tin. That is so neat. And by the way, check out this Nicole Cola. Nicole Cola. I like the tin stuff. It's always really cool. But unlike the tin stuff, check this out. This is an old school stove. Look how much that bad boy is. Doesn't really say, but that thing <laughs> is gigantic. Really cool. They're very gigantic. And just check out the size of this Indian, this carved Indian. <laughs> hey mom. Maybe I should buy this and, and stick it at your house. Mm, no. <laughs> no thank you. Ooh, that's sixteen hundred dollars. Never mind. That's a lot of money. And here is the red throne. Well, maybe not so much the red throne, but got a lot of old school. Uh, huh? More old school axes. Like they're pretty well taken care of too. And more old school sleds from about maybe the 40s or the 50s and I had if I had a brain I would say you could use this to pick my brains out but people told me I lost my brain a long time ago looks like they got some more baseball cards right here hmm I can see what else they got. Yes, this is locked. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I'm wow. get the okay. Oh, that is so neat. Check out these classic toy trains, you guys. Again, I think these from from I think about the 40s or the 50s. There's, I mean, there's the Lionel cases. So whoever had this collection before, they really, really did a good job of taking care of this because this is impressive. This right here reminds me of my days living on a sailboat in Florida. By the way, you guys, if y'all get a chance to check out my classic videos, it's really cool. I'd say this is about the first time I could have said I've seen a fallow deer taxidermy. Fallow deer is a little more different from a, uh, from a, uh, just regular white-tailed deer. And right across from it looks like somebody's definitely taking some time to, uh, do some really cool, uh, really cool wind, or folk art. See, the guy's cut into a log. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that is so neat. I think this is an Ibex. <laughs> oh my goodness. You do not want to be on the other end of those horns. And I'm going to stay very far away from it because I don't have $2,000. And with this, you know, I could probably play Sherlock Holmes for a day. Think about Sherlock Holmes. An old school caddy hat. Not a caddy hat. A um, polo. Polo hat. There we go. I like how... Oh, excuse me. I like how there's randomly a pot here, but... It does look like the shop has a minor leak. It's not bad, though. They have an old school. Another. Another one. Now, this is something I would like to own. That... Is an old school tin to, uh, tin sign, McClure chainsaws. I don't even think they make those anymore. Or you zoom motor oil, huh? Again, I haven't seen one of those in a very long time. And there's just a normal white-tailed deer, deer taxidermy right there. And now this one makes me smile. Now, I mean, I know it's more for gum, but yes, it's meant to be an old school, uh, an old school gas piece or a gas pump, but no, it's for candy. <laughs> but speaking of, uh, gas pumps 
They have an original one right here from Phillips 66. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. But I wonder how much that would even be. $2,300. Well, I don't know. Do I need $2,300 or do I need a gas pump? I think I'd much rather have the gas pump. This place is amazing. But anyway, guys, this is going to be another vlog for another day, another part of my birthday road trip here with my family in the mountains of North Carolina. So anyway, guys, remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care. May y'all want to see more awesome videos. So without further ado, you guys, vlog. Oh.